The purpose of these video clips is to clarify the simplicity of electronics. Today's video clip is section 2.15, Electronic Common Mode Chokes. We'll start with the description. A common mode choke is comprised of two inductors. The two inductors are wound in parallel on a magnetic core. This forms a highly coupled one-to-one -one transformer. Common mode chokes restrict undesired noise. However, it does allow AC current when the current in equals current out. Why common mode chokes on power input connections? A common mode choke on a PCB near the power input and ground input. This common mode choke can attenuate electronic noise that may be entering the PCB. It also attenuates electronic noise exiting the PCB. This could be necessary for meeting EMC requirements. EMC requirements are clarified in another video clip. Common mode chokes can be used for power plane and ground plane noise protection? The answer is yes. Place a common mode choke between one voltage plane and ground plane and a second voltage plane and ground plane on the same PCB. The common mode choke restricts transferring noise from one voltage plane and ground plane to a second voltage plane and ground plane. This could be useful for controlling electric motors, which generate electronic noise. Voltage planes and ground planes are clarified in another video clip. What is the value of using a common mode choke for external communication to a PCB? We'll have a 3 volt input. The voltage on the PCB is the same as the input voltage. We'll put a 10 MHz communication on top of the 3 volts. The communication has an amplitude of 0.5 volts. Problem. Electronic noise is escaping the PCB. We'll add an inductor to the PCB. The inductor will filter the electronic noise. Unfortunately, it also filters the communication. We'll replace the inductor with a common mode choke. Now the communication is not filtered. Bottom line, external communication to a PCB is easier with a common mode choke. Let's add a filter to that external communication to a PCB. We'll add an RC filter to the PCB. We'll use the common mode choke ACM2520U, the input voltage at 3 volts, and a 10 MHz communication. The RC filter has a resistor of 10 ohms and a capacitor of 0.1 microfarads. We'll add a resistive load of 10 ohms. The pulses are filtered on the PCB. We'll look at VL, the filtered pulses. The current output is identical to the current input. How is this possible when VL has some unusual shapes? This happens because the filtered current changes occur through the capacitor. We'll move on to a power rail communication from a PCB to an external device. We'll put a common mode choke on a PCB with an input voltage of 4 volts, an RS resistor of 0.1 ohms, and an RL resistor of 40 ohms. We'll place an electronic switch on the PCB with an RCOM resistor value of 200 ohms. The input current equals 4 volts divided by 0.1 ohms plus 40 ohms, which equals approximately 100 milliamps, with no communication. The electronic switch initiates current changes through RCOM. The current changes are labeled as ICOM. ICOM equals approximately 4 volts divided by 200 ohms, which equals approximately 20 milliamps. The ICOM 20 milliamp current changes result in changes in I-in current changes by 20 milliamps. Monitoring the RS resistor current changes identifies communication from the PCB. This concludes section 2.15, electronic common mode chokes.